cropping in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 or CC requires you to go to the effects tab in the project panel. Here I have a clip in my timeline. I will double click on the clip and in the source modder, I will select on the effects tab or effects control tab and you will see my options of motion, opacity and time remapping. What I will now select down here in the project panel is the effects tab. Once I have that selected, I will go ahead and go to the video effects folder and there you'll see several items. The one I will go over in particular will be the transform. I'll open that up and there you will see it says crop. Select on that either drag it here or here. So I will select to bring it up to the effect controls panel. You will see here my options for left, top, right, and bottom. If I were to left click on an item, so here where it says left, I select where it says 0%. Left click and hold with your mouse and you drag left or right, you will notice that it starts cropping your video. If I were to select on top, same thing and so on and so forth. So selecting on the parameter will go ahead and do that. You can also type in a number of course by simply left clicking and type in a number. If you need to reset, there is a curved uh, arrow here. It says reset, select on there and it will reset all parameters. So that's how you crop individual parameters, left, right, top, and bottom. Now, on where it says the word crop, you can select on there, and you will notice that in my program model, I have this outline box, and this will allow me to crop all the parameters at the same time. So if I were to select on any of these corners or these edges, and start clicking here. I can go ahead and resize this to whatever I want. Now, you may be thinking, well, you only cropped that top corner, and you said that when you do this, you're cropping the entire thing. Well, you are. If I were to select the box and move the box, so I'm left clicking and holding, you will notice that it's cropping around the entire clip. So in effect, I am in fact cropping all four parameters at the same time. So if I were to place it in the center, this means that I did in fact crop the top, the bottom, the left, and the right, all at the same time. So if I were to click anywhere in this video, and I would play my playhead, or move or scrub, whichever one you want, you will notice that my video plays in there. You will also notice that I have very sharp edges and that is fine if that's your intent. If you wish to have this to have some kind of feathering, you need to have the edge feather filter on there. To make certain that the filter is applied to the clip, always double click on it so it opens up in the source monitor. That's how you can guarantee you're actually working on this clip. I can take the edge feather option, back down in the effects panel, select the edge feather, drop it to my clip. If I go to the effect controls tab in my source monitor, you will see the edge feather option there. Underneath it says amount. And again, you'll see the number or you'll select this item here and you can Go ahead and move that as well. So when you do that, you will get and feather your um, selection that you made. Now the feathering is happening to the entire clip. So be mindful of that, that that's what's happening here. So I'll take this off and you'll see that the feathering is happening to the entire clip here. So the entire clip is being feathered not just to the filter that you have. Even if I were to move this above here, 
it's still the same thing. It's being applied to the entire clip, not just the crop item. So be mindful of that, that sometimes you'll have to resize your clip itself. So I'll go ahead and, go ahead and um, resize my clip. So I'll scale this down and move my crop up. So let's uh, expose our crop and bring this up. And we'll go ahead and increase our feather. And now you'll see that the feather is in fact affecting my crop. So many of the things you have to work around to try to figure that out. Now you can also put a mask and the mask will have a feather option. So that may be something that you're looking for instead of using a crop and then attempting to put a feather option on there. Thanks for watching, making the reel.